One, time. Okay, you're gonna take the ball, set it up on the spot. Make sure it's in that ring. Then we're gonna rotate the team, so come on over to the big screen so we can rotate the teams and see where we're going. And here's how easy it is. Create the teams, whoops, create teams. Number of teams, we want 12. There's our new teams. All right, so you're gonna look at your color. Once you find who your partner is or who your group is, you're gonna go to the next one. Yep, you can scroll up to see where purple is. All right, once you have your new team, take them over to the spot and we're gonna play. Oh, okay, sometimes you're with the same person. And then we're gonna start, three minute game. Here we go. Just like that, we got our students from finishing one game, coming over here and shuffling up the teams. And then you can see we're playing 2v2 here at blue. Two green players versus two green players, orange and so on. Um, set them up for purple. And then since we have 26 people, we have two teams that have three. And uh, red is playing the two teams with three. So just a, a quick way to get the kids from a game over to a new group and back to playing a game. Just a quick way to transition. And if you see how, why my gym has risers in it and music equipment, it's because we have Grandparents' Day tomorrow, and we've got an assembly in the gym this afternoon, and Grandparents' Day tomorrow, so they're gonna be practicing their music for the grandparents this afternoon, and that's why that stuff's in here. So we're just kinda hanging out on this side today. Playing Move the Pin with fifth grade.